Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 55 Reset a Game. I'm using a previous tutorial called Flash Basics Tutorial 28 Game Using Arrow Keys but what I'm showing you can be used to reset most games. It's the things you gotta look for. I have that Flash Tutorial 28 open which is called um, game using arrow keys but in reality I named it wrong it's really a game using the uh, the mouse click and drag but anyway I have that tutorial opens now I'm going to open up the win movie clip open the actions panel and I'm going to put a button on this layer right here on this screen to allow us to start over. So type in this code, type, 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 type. The button I'm going to make is called again, A-G-A-I-N underscore B-T-N, period, add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, turns blue, open bracket, it's a mouse event, capital M, capital E, that turns blue, period, click, C-L-I-C-K, all capitals, then we go back to the black, which is a black comma, and I'm calling this function play again, capital P, capital A, close bracket, semicolon. Here's the function. Copy play again, paste it in here, open bracket, E, colon, mouse event. You can copy this mouse event here and paste it in. Close bracket, colon, void. There's an open curly bracket for my function. And as soon as you start to type here, this second curly, close curly bracket probably come in for you. And all we're going to do, first of all, is do a trace to make sure it works. T-R-A-C-E turns blue, open bracket, quotation, again, quotation, close bracket, semicolon. You can write anything you want in here. This is just a test to see if this button is actually going to work. Go back to the timeline. Lock all the layers. Select the text layer. Insert layer. Call it again, A G A I N B T N, the again button. Select this second frame, insert a blank keyframe, and we're going to put a button on here. So I'm going to select my oval tool right here, oval. Uh, this is for the fill, and I'm going to make my fill blue color, and I'm going to make my stroke that yellow color. And here I'm going to make a button, a button with my oval. I'm going to pick up my selection tool, highlight it, move it to the right, uh, modify, convert it to a symbol, make sure button is selected. And we called it again, A-G-A-I-N underscore B-T-N. Copy that because we need that for the instance name. If we're going to write code, we need an instance name. While it's selected, and I can see this blue square around it, open the properties panel, it is the button again, and up here, paste in that instance name. Let's go inside that here for a minute, double click on it, and now I'm inside that button. See, there's the Windows Movie Clip, and I'm inside this button. Call this layer the button, BTN, Insert a layer, call it text, T-E-X-T. -E Make sure the text layer is on top. Lock the layers, unlock the text layer, select that frame one. Pick up your text tool. Come down here. Make sure you have yellow for the fill because the text is on the fill. Open the properties panel. And I have points, 13 points. Times New Roman, I think that's a good size. And down here, I'm going to write again, A G A I N. You can't see it too well because it's on the white background. Pick up my selection tool and drag it in here. Now, with a little bit of luck, we should be able to test this out and just see that we can get that trace. Test movie test. No errors that I can see of. Got rid of that one, got rid of that one. Now we jump to you in, and when I click this, it should say up here in my output panel again. So that works. 
click on frame 2 of the action script layer open the actions panel and right here for this function we know this works so we can just put two forward slashes because I don't need that anymore and after that line type in these two lines type 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 so when we press this again button we need two things to happen first of all I want to go to and stop G O T O A N D S T O P small G small T capital A capital S turns blue open bracket one close bracket semicolon that's the first thing I want to do so I want to go back to this frame here this frame one and stop and the second thing I want to do is I want to go to frame number two on the main timeline so to do that movie clip capital M capital C turns blue open bracket parent as in sons daughters and parents P A R E N T close bracket period go to and play small g small t capital A capital P that turns blue open bracket two close bracket semicolon so now let's go and do that frame two on the main timeline so timelines back to scene one now we want to write we want to write some action script that's going to do a few things for us first of all the action script is going to reset these these um, variables this tar1 count two count and three count we want to reset those to zero otherwise it would just jump right back into the you win thing and also we want to these um, something else these movie clips this targ1 underscore mc targ2 underscore mc these are movie clips if I open them up for example let's look at one for a minute we want to they're, they're, they're now up here stopped way up the end here they're sitting here stopped we want them to go back to play to frame one and start playing again so on scene one make sure all the layers are locked select the frame two of the actions layer insert a blank keyframe open the actions panel and type 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 all this typing so tar1 cnt equals zero semicolon that's the first target that's been hit copy that paste it change the one to a two paste it again change the one to a three type in this line targ1 underscore mc period go to and play small g small t capital a capital p turns blue open bracket one close bracket semicolon that sends us back to that frame one so the objects can move copy that paste it change the one to a two then paste it again change the one to a three now I'm going to just leave it like that for a minute and show you if I don't bring all these up to here we're going to get some errors so I just want to show you that test movie test and I have to turn my machine off quick because it fills up with all these errors and the error is cannot access a property or method of a nulled object reference what it means is on this frame one I have some action code and that action code is dealing with movie clips variables and things like that so it's just as easy if I highlight all these right click insert the keyframe that brings them all up to frame two now if I test it I won't get that error so let's test it out and see what happens test the movie clip test I don't get that error and it jumped what happened is it didn't stop if I go back to my main timeline action script layer frame one open up the action panel it didn't stop here so it didn't give me any options to work so I gotta go to the very beginning press enter up arrow I need to stop S T O P open close bracket semicolon and I think that is it this time. It stops. Here comes the objects. That one hit it automatically. I don't see any errors. This one hit it. Click and drag, hit it. Click and drag, you win. And press the again button. And it starts over because everything's been reset. 
and we can do this as many times as we wish. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.